Super sad day here today. Fall is underway and I gotta tear this thing down and pack it up. We didn't get to do all the camping we wanted to do, but we did Hershey Park, Pennsylvania, and Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania, and we did uh, Durham, Freeport, Maine. Those were two amazing camping trips, but not nearly what we thought we would get done this year. But hey, this is the process. I'm gonna winterize this thing. I'll share what I do. And uh, if you got any thoughts, comments, or uh, if I miss anything, let me know. I start on the interior and I take everything out that doesn't need to be in here. And it gets put in storage inside. I don't want anything clothy or material that mice could use to make a nest or to attract them. I like it as sterile as possible. And you might have heard, I'm running the heater. I seal everything up, close the windows, run the heater and almost like force everything to dry out. Does it work? I don't know, but it makes me feel better. After this runs for a while, I'll take Clorox wipes, wipe down every surface, even the cushions, everything. Just want to make sure everything's uh, clean, there's no food, vacuum, clean the entire interior. Sit in the sun. So I don't know if you've noticed, but when our camper's been sitting outside for a long time, we get moisture under the bed between the mattress and the wood that spot, which is normal, but it needs to be cleaned. Mattresses need to be aired out, dried well, and then I use a little bit of Clorox and a scrub brush and I clean the wood and neutralize any mold that might be there. While this stuff's airing out, I'm gonna use uh, soap and water and clean the exterior. I don't know if you can see it, but there's little tiny bits of mold spores here and there. So we'll clean that up. And then the top, Ew. Oh, you can smell the mold up here. Oh, yeah. So now that I've scrubbed, you can see, I think, if the camera can focus, these are little mold spores all over. So I just went into town, I got myself some, uh, you know, anti-mold stuff. You know, we got the wipes. It's a Lysol. Resolve carpet cleaner, that's for my car. Mold armor. Mold and mildew killer. We're gonna put this on the top. Clean it up a little bit. All right, let's test this stuff out. Little something, something. All right, let's let that sit. I'll give it a light scrubbing and we'll see what it does. Light scrubbing. Oh yeah. It's coming right off. Woo! Says it's good for vinyl. That's what we're using it on. I like this brush, by the way. It's very soft bristle, extremely soft. Oh yeah, it's coming right off. I'm not even pushing hard. I'm just doing gentle circles. Oh, that that's really good. That makes me feel good. All right, I'm gonna scrub this whole thing. It's gonna take me a little while. Rinse it off and then we'll move on to next things. But hey, that stuff, that works great. Mold and mildew killer and quick stain remover. I just rinsed it off with the hose, check it out. You can see, if you can see, it's so bright up here. Looks like I got maybe a little bit up against the very edge still. We'll get in there a little more. We'll keep scrubbing on it till I'm satisfied, but I, am, uh, I think this is a nice mild mold remover. It's not damaging. It's made for vinyl, ceramic, tile, uh, but we'll keep using it and I'm gonna go all the way across this whole thing because look at that. Woo, that's nasty. The best thing about it, it doesn't require a lot of elbow. I don't have to work hard. A couple of applications, it dissolves, breaks up the mold and off it comes. So I'm trying not to scrub the canvas. I don't mind the vinyl, 
but I'm afraid if I scrub the canvas too much, I'm gonna strip away the sealant. You know the water sealant? Water repellent? Might have to redo it anyway, but there's a lot of mold. So I'm even doing a light scrub down with this mildew remover, mold remover on the body. Now the secret with the body is that it has an actual coating on it that you don't want to scrub too hard. So that's why this light brush is so perfect. This stuff really is mild. And again, I'm just trying to clean the summer's long coating of mold, mildew, dirt off the body. It looks great. I'm amazed by how clean that is. Ha! So this cleaner works amazingly well, but I went inside and where I leaned on it, do you see my shirt? It's not black anymore, it's kind of a rust color. Definitely some bleach in this stuff, so be careful with it. You don't wanna bleach out anything, um, I don't know, like material. Try not to get it on the inside of your camper. I like it though, because it works fast and easy, and oh, it's so clean, look at that. But be careful. And while the mattress is out, I'm gonna spray it with a little Lysol on the bottom. It doesn't look bad, I just want to kill anything that might be on it. Alright, now that I've dipped the entire camper in bleach, scouring the mold away, now it's time to clean the interior. I'm going to use this stuff to wipe down the interior. The goal here is no mold, no mildew, but also no dust, no dirt, no food. Nothing to bring mice inside. Nothing to allow mice to feel cozy and comfortable. We'll keep scrubbing it. And I'll drain the water out of the system. I like to douse the bed with some Lysol. If it's actually bad, I'll take bleach, Clark's bleach, spray the wood, and scrub it with a scrub brush to kill it. I'm sure that mold remover I bought would work just fine too. about done with the interior I'm gonna close this thing up and I'm gonna scrub the roof goodbye camper I'll see you in the spring Again, soft bristle brush. Don't want to do anything to scratch the sealant on the surface. Do your best. Did I tell the boys I'm not trying to make you nervous? That and you're sorry. All right, that roof is clean. My shirt is definitely ruined. Job done though. So it's been a couple weeks, I think. <laughs> I scrubbed this thing clean, now look at it. It's got leaves on it. So I meant to scrub it and put it away, but I had to go to Orlando for a business trip. Poor me, wah wah. <laughs> I ended up going to Epcot. I stopped right at the point of Draining all the fluids out of this thing. Yes. So this is hot water heater and I'm gonna remove the big giganto heater element that's right here. That's a brand new one, just put it in this spring. Oh, and I remembered it's a 27 millimeter. So we should have a whole bunch of water coming out. Look at that, coming right. Oh, there it is, we got water. You don't want that freezing and bursting. Look at that, good as new. Of course, I've only used it twice. It was a weak camping year. I blame my wife, shh, she's coming. 
while that's draining. So to drain it, all I do is I, I put the hose back on and I open up the other end, let it drip out. It just keeps coming. So then the other area is right down here. This little doodad, I just drain, I don't use this. There's nothing coming out. There's no water in it. Got some little drain points right here. Oh, look, we got more water here. Drain those. Just pop right off. Now, I removed my water filter completely and I just put a loop through. So that no longer is a source of water collection for me. If you have your water filter in, make sure to empty it. Take the top off, get all the water out. Uh, I'm going to pop this open too, just in case. It's from the sink, right? Nope, nothing there. And that's it for water drainage. Even if there's a little bit left in the system, it doesn't hurt anything. It's not enough to expand and break anything. All right, now with the low point drained out, I'm gonna put the caps back on. You don't want any open holes for bugs or little critters. Nice and tight, not too tight. And we'll put the hot water element back in. Snug it up, no need to go overly tight. Perfect. Again, it doesn't have to be perfectly empty. If there's the tiniest little drops here and there, that's fine. It's when there's large volumes of water that freeze and expand that you start damaging things. All right, Saturday. Looks like a big work day. A lot of work going on here today. We're moving the shed contents. As you can see, it's been emptied out completely, cleaned, ready for the pop-up camper. I'm gonna have the kids come out here and help me in just a moment. Wow! All right, you guys ready? Yeah. All right, we're there. Ethan, how are we looking? Uh, good Push. so far. Keep going. Push hard. Wait. Keep going. Forward, ready? Go! Go! Don't stop, don't stop. Keep going. Momentum, momentum. Push! Yes! Thank you, guys. Yes. Uh, pull it forward a little. The tire's sticking out a little. Okay. Nope. Yeah, no. Okay, like that. That's good. You like that? Yep. Okay. It's in. Good night, sweet prince. We call him Sarge. So that's it. So the, the last step here is we pile all of our other winter stuff in and around this. I'll put down a little mouse poison. I already got bug spray in here and then this thing will be done until the spring. So the last thing I do is remove the batteries. I want to bring them inside and put them up on a shelf. If you put them on a cement floor, for some reason they go dead. And then I attach a trickle charger to keep the batteries fresh throughout the winter. And that's it. Winterizing is done. I can't wait till spring. I hope you guys had a great year. Thanks for watching. God bless you. We will catch you next video.